Now let's take another look at it and the threat for storms this afternoon. Yeah, Dagmar's back in the Weather Center with a look at what's out there. Well, yes, we're looking at a possible threat for storms, but I want to take you quickly now to a broad picture of what's going on in the Atlantic. And this is what's happening as a result of a weak El Nino system. We've had a very quiet year here. Now, partly what's forming here is a tropical depression. It is not a tropical storm. If it turns to about, it starts to spin at about 40 miles per hour, could be the first name storm of the year. It will be pronounced Anna, not Anna. So you are looking at the possibility here of something that could form, could move our direction. Of course, we're going to watch that one very, very carefully for you. Now, back home, looking at the radar, what's happening here? We're starting to see some severe thunderstorm warnings moving across into that Georgia border. Alabama, you're getting pummeled right now. A lot of this system that's bringing us some, some strong cells, some supercells in there, potentially some stronger ones, starting to move across now into Buchanan, Carrollton, and a lot of these moving, bringing a lot of lightning with them, potentially some hail, piece-sized hail. Have not had any reports of any damaging winds at this point in time, but that is definitely not something that we are ruling out. Again, they're moving at about 20, 25 miles per hour. So tracking the storm that's moving directly towards Buchanan. At this point, it should arrive at West Crossing at about 5 o'clock. So we'll watch that one closely for you. Taking a wider look at this now. Again, the city of Atlanta itself still fairly clear right now. Again, Gainesville, you did have a storm up there that we watched for you. Some lightning associated with that one. And we will watch that for you closely as well. And that is Midtown there for you with a lot of blue sky shining through. And that is why we're getting those temperatures all the way up to look at that 98 for you in Athens 94 in Atlanta Gainesville 81 cooling off nicely you are getting some rain there and that is helping quite a bit bigger picture there showing you what's moving our way this is what we told you about that that entire system that uh, front that's going to push through pick up a lot of moisture off the Gulf also move through touch off a couple of severe thunderstorms you're already seeing some of those warnings watch this for you the entire evening tonight's forecast still very very warm the possibility for storms lingers with us all evening. So hopefully it'll clear out in time for us to begin to see some of the Perseid meteor showers. And that'll be a sight to see, I'll tell you. It should be double what it normally is. Chance for showers tonight, 60%, 50% for Thursday, dropping to about 40 for Friday. We need this rain, but watch this also. Great news. Temperatures lowering down to about the mid-80s, the lower 70s for those overnights. And that'll be this, the, basically the story for the rest of the week. 70s for those overnights nights and about the mid to upper 80s for those daytime highs.